Hello and welcome to a new episode of I have a question for you. As you may know, ETA Urban Mobility has a strong focus on developing mobility solutions that make cities more livable. One of our main challenges is active mobility. And on the one hand, it calls for a reshape of policies to grant citizens with spaces in which they can ride their bikes or have a run without the risk of being rolled out by cars. On the other hand, it calls for an understanding of citizens of the responsibility that each of us have in saving the planet. Have you ever wondered how much are you contributing to save the planet with your urban mobility habits? Running 10 kilometers every day to go to work means saving almost 700 kilograms of CO2 per year. As you see, Every minor active mobility action can be of utmost importance to make our cities more livable. Today, we will learn more about this topic from different perspectives. We will deep dive more into the concept with Manuel Crespo, Innovation Officer for the EAT Urban Mobility. We will learn more about the project Inclusive Bike that is already functioning in the municipalities of Bergamo and Bilbao. And finally, we will tell you how was the experience we had at the EAT Urban Mobility with the MOVE Challenge. Let's start knowing more about the concept of active mobility and its implications with Manuel Crespo, Innovation Officer for the EAT Urban Mobility. Manuel, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. Manuel, let's start from the very, very beginning. What is active mobility about? Active mobility is physical activity as a means of transport. That means you move because you are your own engine. It includes travel by foot, bicycle, and other vehicles that require physical effort to get moving. This is really positive because there are both individual and public health benefits of active mobility. First, because of the direct impacts of physical activity, but also through reduced air pollution and noise pollution, as well as the considerable health benefits Active mobility modes also provide benefits in terms of reducing the amount of space used compared to cars, freeing up space in public transport, and reducing CO2 emissions. Because of the benefits associated with active mobility, many cities want to increase levels of active mobility. Some cities have already changed it. Amsterdam and Copenhagen are examples of cities where cycling is very popular and Barcelona as an example of a city where around 50% of people walk for the daily commute. Cities that are looking for this behavioral change require new solutions to support the deployment of cycling infrastructure and still ensure high quality of life and good use of public space. You know, throughout the last decades, the mobility has been planned for people to go to work. That is to say, the middle-aged man with a car. But technology is evolving fast and new options to gather and process data are available. Women are keener to travel on sustainable modes but have safety limitations. In order to guarantee the mobility in cities, we need to think out of the box and include all vulnerable groups. For example, by just removing a parking lane from a street, the safety perception in women increases drastically. Street and mobility planning needs to include message such as this in order to guarantee mobility. Wheelchair users, people with visual impairments, and other persons who may experience challenges navigating current city infrastructure need to move around the city safely. But due to climate change, the construction of dedicated infrastructure is not enough. Bikes and pedestrians will start moving when it is attractive and safe to them. A street without cars is more attractive to active users. A street with trees is more attractive than one without trees. Segregated bike lanes are more attractive than sharing traffic lines. Moreover, now with climate change, southern European cities need to build streets that give shade in summer in a natural way. And the greener a city is, the more CO2 can be absorbed to minimize its negative effects. 
Indeed, Manuel, keywords such as climate emergency or EU Green Deal are hitting everyday the headlines of the international media. But why is active mobility so important in the EU agenda and how are we contributing to reach the EU goals from EATO over mobility? One of the points of the vision of the Green Deal states that the future is greener mobility. The needs to include active mobility in both urban and interurban environments. The zero emission mobility may only be reached in two ways. Electrifying vehicles create a difference in local emissions, but in order to be zero emission, the power plants need to be from renewable sources. The easiest, most effective way then is to promote active modes of transport. The European Commission must pursue this in order to reduce the effects of climate change from which citizens are already suffering. One of the main reasons I wanted to join EIT about mobility was precisely that, a model company with the vision and values of the European Union. In our strategy objectives as a company, we aim to make our cities more livable by bringing innovative solutions to city challenges. EIT Urban Mobility has a program to accelerate startups, and many of these are focused on active mobility. For example, there are apps to make mobility more attractive through gamification or rewards. I am sure my colleague Mateus can explain a little bit more about some of them later. Through our innovation program, we also fund pan-European projects that promote active modes of transport. Some examples are walkside data or inclusive e-bike. Jezabel, I think it would be a great idea if you explained a little bit more about it. Manuel Crespo, Innovation Officer for the EIT Urban Mobility, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Inclusive Bike is one of our founded projects. Already implemented in Bergamo and Bilbao, it aims to develop and demonstrate a new concept of rickshaw e-bikes capable to promote safety and comfort by extending inclusiveness to frail and vulnerable people that have seen their mobility and physical activity strongly reduced due to COVID-19 risk associated transport. Do you want to learn more about this project? Sure thing! Our partners have kindly produced this short video that will help you learn more about this practical solution that has already revolutionized urban mobility in the municipalities of Bergamo and Bilbao. Tutti devono andare in giro in strada, anche le persone lente, anche le persone in carrozzina, anche le persone che hanno, sono più fragili perché la strada è di tutti, non è solo di chi ha la macchina più grande. Partecipare a questo progetto per noi è molto importante, per la valenza eh, sociale del progetto è una risposta concreta alle nuove domande che le tematiche della mobilità nel contesto del Covid ci pone. Riusciamo a dare una soluzione per far sì che persone con disabilità possano muoversi in contesti urbani dove ci sono situazioni critiche di traffico e dove i veicoli tradizionali non possono andare. Diamo la possibilità a tutti di poter godere di esperienze come possono essere quelle di andare in bicicletta, quindi non c'è soltanto una valenza diciamo, di, di utilità, ma anche di gratificazione e di possibilità di condivisione di esperienze. Abbiamo quindi aderito a questo progetto perché una e-bike inclusive vuol dire possibilità di spostamento rapido, divertente, a contatto con la natura. Questo non interroghi solamente le persone che hanno apparentemente tutti eh, i, i mezzi per poterlo fare, ma soprattutto le persone che sono più in situazione di fragilità. La cosa che mi ha stupito particolarmente è proprio l'idea di questo progetto un po' innovativo. Mi è piaciuto in generale il giro e aver provato anche ad andare velocemente, perché anche con la carrozzella 
normalmente non riuscirei a fare e andare in bici non riuscendoci questo mi ha fatto provare delle belle emozioni Nel progetto Inclusive Bike ci siamo occupati dell'allestimento meccanico dell'iBike per il trasporto dei disabili. Da un punto di vista eh, tecnico la realizzazione parte da un iBike che è nata per il trasporto cargo. Tuttavia l'adattamento che è stato fatto ha mostrato eh, alcuni punti positivi per il trasporto dei disabili e sicuramente dei limiti che vanno superati nello sviluppo di questo progetto, per cui diciamo che più che un punto d'arrivo, questo è un punto di partenza e di sviluppo da qui in avanti. As you can see, with inclusive e bike, no one's left behind in urban mobility, no matter the obstacles and challenges they may face. And talking about active mobility, I would like to close our vlog of the month with our colleague Matteo Scalusa from Business Creation. Matteo, welcome! Hello, Isabel. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me today. Mateusz, the app Move was developed by a startup that we supported from the AIT Urban Mobility Business Creation Department. Can you tell us more about the work of this startup? Indeed, uh, Move B Corp is a venture that was born in Palermo, Italy, as a spin off uh, of the project developed by PUSH, which stands for a lab for uh, social innovation and sustainability in urban areas. Uh, the core idea is, is truly simple, uh, to make active mobility fun uh, and to turn this repetitive activity into a game you can play with uh, your friends, teammates or strangers. Uh, the service is delivered through the software where users can become part of, of the international community uh, either through closed tournaments or the challenges that are open to everyone. Um, here are uh, two components that make this app uh, really unique, uh, should be mentioned, and these are impact and uh, citizen engagement. Uh, so the system is not aimed only to track and store our movements, but also to provide information on such metrics as uh, CO2 save or contribution to traffic reduction. And uh, this is crucial to understand our role as citizens in creating more livable urban areas. Uh, and here, MOVE is a great enabler as it's based on years of uh, deep research on human nature or on the principles of behavioral change. Uh, so it's simply great to have such a venture in our portfolio uh, since we can see that the tech-driven solutions you know, cannot uh, solve the equation if, if we people Uh, do not understand the importance of our role in, in this process. Thanks for that, Mateus. And actually, some months ago, we had a very nice experience at the EAT Urban Mobility, an experience that took all of us to teamwork and take up healthy and sustainable urban mobility habits. So we're preaching by example. The name of the initiative was Smooth Challenge. And Mateus, what was this about? I've heard uh, you are one of the top players. Uh, I need to check it. Um, and well, I'm happy to hear your comment uh, because for me it was also uh, a lot of fun and it came uh, so naturally. Um, as you mentioned in your previous question, at Business Creation we are supporting startups uh, through different programs and uh, different financial instruments. And uh, one of the pillar is to connect our ventures Uh, with living clubs and, and cities uh, to secure pilots where uh, solutions or our products uh, can be validated in a real environment, uh, which is of course beneficial for the company on one side and for city and the citizens on the other. Uh, in case of MOVE's solution, uh, which uh, on the top of, of this environmental advantage, uh, it can be considered as a great team building tool. and. Uh, Well, we had this idea at Innovation Up South to test it by ourselves. Uh, you know, this is this great feeling uh, to validate uh, something, the solution uh, or the product you are promoting. And here uh, I need uh, to mention uh, Daniel Serra, uh, who is our director, and uh, Matteo Consoni, business manager, and the HR team uh, who supports and uh, support made implementation of, of the pilot at, at the company level. Uh, possible. 
so how it worked? Um, during four consecutive weeks, uh, we were playing divided into teams of eight to become the most sustainable and the healthiest, uh, healthiest team in, our, in the company. And again, uh, we explored how various aspects of our life are affected by commuting. And, you know, I'm using the word healthy on purpose, and I'm happy you used it too, uh, since we put a lot of stress on this additional aspect. Uh, morning or afternoon commuting uh, is, of course, truly important, and let us contribute to the change we are pursuing working at the EA Urban Mobility. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's just worth to remember uh, that 15 min minute walk uh, can increase your productivity and relieve uh, stress reducing risks of uh, many diseases that uh, strongly affect uh, our generation. Uh, but well, coming back to your question, um, the MOVE challenge was about um, building habits and um, to, to be closer to people we are working with. Uh, so I think, I believe uh, that outdoor activities, including active mobility, connect people. And uh, this is the key takeaway uh, for similar projects in the future. And uh, to be honest, uh, even me, you know, as a, I would say data-driven individual, I don't remember that letterboard or, or points that we scored. Uh, what I remember is, is the atmosphere, uh, our group chat, uh, or even, you know, just this uh, brainstorming the name of the team. So summing up these interactions. And uh, so if we are talking about, uh, you know, working environments, universities or schools where, where we are dedicating significant part of our lives, uh, such an app uh, with, of course, experienced team behind, uh, it might be a way to foster uh, not only sustainable transition, but also to closely link um, uh, the transport, the, the urban mobility with health and social aspects. Uh, well, for me, it, it's a model example of, of low-cost but high-impact instrument. Uh, so shouldn't we follow that direction? I'm actually really thrilling to share with you what is MOVE allowed. So if you want to see it, here is in a nutshell. Today, it is incredibly sunny. Off you go, mover. With sustainable ways of mobility, you collect points, be it by bike, foot, public transport, or car pooling. Rookies know how to move, and as one of them, you can participate to the city tournament. The special training journey is done. Now, you deserve your cup of coffee. Move. The journey is the reward. Mateusz Kalusia from Business Creation at the Ear to Urban Mobility. Thanks a lot for sharing with us these views and insights and being with us today. Thank you, Isabel. Uh, it was a pleasure. As you can see, in active mobility, everything matters. Every simple gesture we take may have a huge impact in the society and a benefit in the sustainability of our planet. And now that you know, what are you going to do? I have it clear. I go for a walk.